good morning um it is thursday what is today the 14th december 14th and i am currently in the target parking lot <laughs> long story short today is a christmas party at work and it's supposed to be ugly christmas sweaters i've never owned an ugly actually i think once upon a time i had one but it was like kind of cute ugly you know not like ugly even this that I found is like so cute, ugly. It's not gonna win the competition. <laughs> but I just wanna be like uh, blending in. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't need to win. I just wanna blend in and look like I knew that this was happening. You know? I meant to do it yesterday at Walmart when I was there for this stuff and completely forgot. So I just ran by Target. I actually came here because I found one. Everybody was sold out, at least based on what the apps were saying. Was ugly Christmas sweaters. So I found one at Target that was like cute. It was definitely not ugly Christmas sweater, but it like blended in um, even more than this one. Like was t like a pretty Christmas sweater, um, but it said like cheers on it. So I was like, oh, that'll blend in. So I did Target pickup, but you know, usually they need like two hours to fill those, and I had only given them an hour, and it was still processing, and I was here already. So I just ran in. Glad I did because I found the one that I was looking for, not in the size I wanted. I could have fit a medium, but I, I like the oversized. I'm just on the oversized wave these days. And so I grabbed that one and was gonna settle. And then I walked around the corner and there was a whole thing of ugly Christmas sweaters, like true ones. Um, so I got one. It is definitely much more of the wave. Isn't that so cute? It says Merry and Bright, let it snow. And I think fa la la, or ho 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 at the bottom. Yes, ho ho ho. So it's really cute. It's um, not like XL oversized. Um, the only other size they have was like a medium, I think, or a small, something that I didn't want. So I just got the large, which I think will be fine. So I'm about to throw this on actually right now in the car. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn on the car because it's cold. But yeah, good morning, everyone. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm doing 12 Days of Christmas. My name is Gaby. Gabrielle and I'm just really excited to be vlogging consistently like this is really exciting I mean this is okay let's not put wax on it <laughs> wax and tax this is only the third time but three times in one week after like seven months off of YouTube I think counts for something so I hope you all are enjoying it as much as I am so far and I actually, I was thinking yesterday, I'm like, I actually might be able to keep this up because like I said, Friday is my last day of work. And usually work and just life is like what gets in the way of me having time to, you know, I just feel guilty even if I have time of like, I got all these deliverables at work and I'm over here doing stuff on YouTube. I need to get out of that mindset, but that's usually how it is. So now that I'm like, I literally have nothing to do for work for two weeks. I'm gonna be able to do this 12 days of Christmas, I think guys. Exciting. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. Oh, I feel so festive. Look at me. I'm cute. This is cute. This is very cute. It's got the little fray on the sleeves. This is so cute. See, this is my kind of ugly Christmas sweater. Like, it's ugly, but I'm cute. Do you feel me? <laughs> so, anywho, I am debating. I wanted to be at work at 9. It's 9 7 right now. I don't have my first meeting until 11, I think. But still, I just, I wanted to get there early. Actually, my first meeting is at 3.30. I wanted to get there early because I had um, some deliverables that I'm still trying to work on and get them done by tomorrow so I can be free free. Um, and I wanted that writing time this morning. So I'm debating like, should I stop and grab a little morning something? I think I should. Actually, I think I should go get a smoothie so I can try to be a little healthier in these streets but we'll get a smoothie and then we'll head to work so welcome to thursday it's good to see you guys i'm gonna get the sunrise sunset can i add a um, multivitamin to that uh -huh. the all-american wrap was bacon uh -huh. and that's all never ordered the all-american wrap or any kind of breakfast wrap from here i've had their um pesto chicken what's it called panini or something like that it's really good but i'm a little skeptical of a breakfast wrap from here so we gonna see just trying to do better with eating three meals a day what i really need to do is go grocery shopping so that i can just make this stuff from home because i have no excuse not to but 
listen, I got one more day until work is over for the season, so we just we just making it until then, okay? So no judgment. <laughs> Okay, I made it to work. We've got our sweater. This is actually, so I've had this particular smoothie before. It's called a Sunrise Sunset from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. It's usually good. Whoever made it this morning did not make it the best, so I am struggling through it. I will say the wrap was pretty good. It was teeny tiny for it to be $4.99. And they had the nerve to cut it in half. What are we cutting in half? a miniature breakfast burrito for what <laughs> but anywho I'm gonna run into work and try to get some stuff done before my 10 30 meeting just wanted to check in and let y'all know how this food was going oh and as you can see the deer are still in the back of my car yeah we didn't successfully get those up last night but that's okay today's the day I'll have them out of my car soon enough I'm trying to just I'm trying to be more flexible because in my mind if I say it needs to be done today it needs to be done today but it's fine we're gonna get them up today so um yeah I got stuff to do so let me run inside <laughs> and get to work <laughs> a long day <laughs> and I haven't picked up the camera not once where did I even leave y'all in my office <sighs> I figure I will just do a recap of my day because clearly I didn't vlog it but first I have a tag on this because so I went to uh, our church staff's Christmas party this evening uh got invited unfortunately babe can come because they assigned him a job like right before his shift was over and it went way over and so i went ahead without him and they got us all gifts we actually got to pick our gifts i had forgotten what i had ordered and i'm so happy with what i had got because how cute is this let me see if i can set y'all up okay so i got the champion jacket yep it's champion um y'all know the size of my bottom half that we talked about the last time so it doesn't go all the way down but this is an xl and it just fits so good it's got drawstrings on the side if i were to try to do like a higher up situation um but it's just so cute it's got a hood it's like a little rain jacket material you can kind of hear and of course they put um our church emblem on it and then babe um, our spouses also got to pick a gift so he got the three-quarter zip champion is it black i think this is black too and it's got the one church on it so we cute what as if i don't already have enough one church apparel like seriously seriously it's out of control but they keep coming out with cute things or they gift me cute things what am i supposed to tell them no thank you what absolutely not <laughs> so i really love the jacket i was trying it on but also i never showed you a full look of our sweater i got so many compliments it's just so cute and i love like it's just oversized enough I love how the sleeves are open like this because gather sleeves are always awkward for long arm people like me because I always end up wearing them as a three quarter because it just looks like they are young and <laughs> not quite making it all the way down. So I love this. I just feel so cute. I want to find another way to wear it or another reason to wear it before Christmas comes. So at work I had on tennis shoes because you know comfort is key but tonight I wore these little booties. I got these from Target um, a couple weeks ago. Uh, they have like this cloth at the top. It almost remind me of like sock heels. Y'all remember the sock heel wave? I had some fire sock heels for a really long time but I don't think I have them anymore. But yeah, they kind of have that kind of vibe. So it was like cute casual for me. Actually at the party I realized it was a little bit more like dressy casual, but 
I had a blazer on to kind of try to make this a little better. <laughs> it's fine. It ended up being fine. Let's talk about how so I ordered Christmas pajamas for us. Actually, hold please. I'm gonna go grab them and show you. Ooh, slightly out of breath. Um, so these are our Christmas pajamas that I ordered us. It's a green and black. So you got the pants and then the top is like a little collar situation. Isn't it so cute? They're very soft. Um, like a felt sort of material. I got these off Amazon. Sorry if I already said that. But these are mine. I got the XL, I think, because, like, I told y'all, oversize is the way for me. But, um, Babes hasn't come in yet. I ordered them at the same time, but for some reason, his didn't ship. And then they delayed it, like, twice. It's supposed to be here on Sunday, but it still hasn't shipped. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. Part of me wants to like cancel it and try to reorder it, but if these pajamas don't come in before Christmas, I'm gonna be angry. I actually really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do that and figure out what else to talk to y'all about. Okay, actually I do have an idea, but I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick, so. Hope Good morning. I'm ashamed, as you all can see, it is a whole day later. <laughs> It is a whole day later, but that's okay. I'm still on track. I'm still gonna get this vlog up for you guys today. Um, but yeah, after I used the bathroom last night, baby and I ended up watching a movie. I actually ended up watching um, a movie called Fall. I think it was pretty popular for a second there on social media. Um, everybody was talking about it. Um, so we ended up watching that. It was a pretty good thriller. We gave it like a six out of 10 kind of vibe like not awful but not amazing but once we turned the movie on shot I had took my pants off it was just like uh, thinking about going back downstairs and grabbing the camera and trying to finish talking to y'all I felt like a hurdle so we're here this morning I'm on my way to breakfast with my friend Deja um Deja and I seen together on the church worship team and in the church choir which is how I met her so We've been talking about breakfast for a minute, so we are headed to go get a little brunch. Um, we're both running a few minutes late. I don't have an excuse. She has an excuse. She has a toddler. <laughs> I am, you know, just working on being on time. I am just not prone to being on time these days. I haven't been for a while, actually. <laughs> but we're going to work on it. Anyways, that was not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to tell you guys that, like, I was realizing something about the hurdle of going downstairs and figuring out what else to tell you guys to be in this vlog and I know these are supposed to be short anyway so I shouldn't feel the pressure to like make a whole bunch of content for one video but I felt like I had absolutely nothing to talk about so I was really like spinning my wheels on like what can I even talk to them about like what why am I picking up the camera and then it came to me like I probably should just be honest about what's going on in my head <laughs> and being honest about that I am realizing that I'm gonna have to give myself grace on this return back to social media in general but then I'm gonna ask for you all to give me grace as well because I think it's just I mean I've been said this but it's just a different me right now. Like, I'm still figuring out the current me of this season. And the reason I need to give myself grace is because high achievers, like, we, once we feel regular, consistent success at a thing, it's hard to do something else and not feel that success. And I'm realizing at this age that that kind of keeps me from doing certain things and really putting myself out there unless I know that I'm going to be good at it. Um, like, I don't like that early stage some people really wait in that and don't mind it and will take the chance and don't mind if they get three views on their first 100 videos because then their consistency once they do you know have that video that reaches viral then they have a bank of videos there and like a channel there waiting to meet people <laughs> to meet the crowd and I'm trying to tell myself to embrace that I'm trying to do better with accepting that my audience is like not what it once was and that it's okay if I post a video and it gets like 60 views <laughs> like I'm used to seeing a particular number 
and even a response to the video like pretty quickly um my numbers are not your top youtubers numbers but you know i was just used to like a certain consistency and a certain level of success in my videos and so because i'm basically starting over it's like reminding me of like the early days of my videos which is so funny that perspective because when i was first starting my channel if i got 50 views on a video i you could just buy me for a penny i was so excited that was a big deal to me like oh people are watching now getting 50 views on a video or less well it usually doesn't sit at less than 50 um but you know in that first day or something like that if it's only like 50 views my whole spirit is jacked up and i really was struggling yesterday of like gaby you can't really look at the numbers like do not look at the numbers in this season because i think that's what discourages me and like makes me think oh nobody wants me to come back nobody cares um about the content that i'm putting out and it's like no you just have to get your audience back like you have to be consistent in such a way where it gets you back to where you were and even beyond that like god i truly believe god wants to take me beyond even where i was but consistency and discipline are what's gonna get me there. And it's so funny because I feel like that's just a parallel to my life right now is God has things for you. He has things waiting up for you. They have your name on it. It's not that somebody else can take it away. They have your name on it. It's what God wants for you. However, consistency and discipline, we have a role to play in that. Like. It's not just going to be by osmosis. Some people do have success like that, and that's great. But for the vast majority of us, it takes some work, and it takes some consistency. And we can't, like, look at where we are now and let that keep us from where God wants to take us. So, I figured I would mention that because I was like, maybe somebody else needs this too. Like, I know a few other creators who are even just starting right now. And just, you know, we have to keep our eyes focused on the assignment that God has what are you doing? I don't even have a stop sign. Sorry, Columbus drivers are interesting. But um, yeah, don't focus on the numbers right now. Analytics are helpful. Analytics are great. There's nothing wrong with knowing where you're starting and where you're going. But let me just be the first to tell you that sometimes those analytics are going to keep you discouraged or have you discouraged and have you telling yourself things that are not true, which is, oh, this isn't for me. And sometimes that's true, but in most cases, especially in the social media world, I've seen a lot of people um, in that scenario that I talked about that are like very, very consistent with, um, you know, posting videos and they may get two likes. I mean, even Reels is where I've seen it in TikTok. You're posting, you're posting, you're posting. You only get a couple views, a couple likes. And then the one video that like goes up <laughs> and blows up, your bank of videos and your consistency of discipline speak for yourself and people gravitate to that. And then overnight in a, or in a couple weeks, you're interacting with this amazing audience that is there because of the work that you put in so telling myself that telling somebody else that i'm gonna end the video here because lord knows i will talk 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 and this vlog will be 30 minutes i'm gonna run inside since i'm a little bit late and meet my friend for breakfast i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye